Sergeant Kenai here reporting for duty, and Alpha 12 just came out. There's a lot of things that have been added to the game. I'm gonna go ramble off a list that I made. The biggest thing is animal taming, in which the handler, I guess which is gonna be a new skill in the game, um, has the ability to ta um, tame wild animals. There's varying difficulties, kind of like prisoners, except if you don't have the requirement for it, you just straight out can't uh, tame them. They can be sold or eaten, they can be trained to uh, learn skills like obedience which will allow them to follow you and defend you, release which will send them out and attack other animals on their own, um, rescuing which will save colonists that are injured and hauling that will uh, allow them to move items for you. I believe I said they can already be sold or eaten. The new animals that have been added to the game is the boomalope which explodes, the, the thumb rope which I believe is a big passive animal, the chinchilla which has really good fur to sell, as well as many cows, pickens, shigs, Yorkshire Terrier, Labrador Retriever, Husky, and Elephants. The animals also have new mechanics such as birth, becoming pregnant, death from age, sleeping can be harvested for new items such as milk and wool. They also become sick and can get treatment from the doctors. There's also new rooms in the game such as bedrooms, dining halls, hospitals, prison rooms, barracks, and etc. Um, these rooms give stat bonuses to colonists and also affect other in-game uh, in game uh, Mechanics so like if you have someone who's in a hospital room they'll get or they would get their immunity more if they have an infection if they're in a hospital room rather than just a regular old bed. Um, there's also artifacts and facilities so you can now get uh, psychic weapons from psychic drones. Those are the artifacts and there's many facilities that when they're placed next to like for example a heart monitor next to a medical bed will help them heal a research stage or multi an analyzer next to a research station will make it faster and etc and etc uh, and also older colonists as you get later into the game will also start uh, having the possibility to just die from heart attacks which is really unfortunate now the big thing for me that kinda sucks is um, I was playing a uh, room world alpha 11 and unfortunately we're going to have to uh, make a new world because it's um, not gonna be compatible through the two different um, alphas. Um, it mentioned that if I tried to load it, it would probably mess up the entire thing. So unfortunately, we're just going to be starting a brand new spanking world. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I think this is good. There's a lot of green, not too many frozen. Let's make a new colony. And obviously, we're going with this guy right here because I like the randomness and he just got, you know, crazy eyes, man. Uh, that's, that's the old world, so we'll get rid of that. And then we'll select a new Nia Kapati. And you know what? We'll actually go into a green world. We've been going into like um, these like arid kind of lands, but you know what? Let's make it a let's make it a little bit easier for me, just a little bit, and we'll go into uh, into a greener land that has a longer growing season. All right. And uh, well, this is gonna take a little bit to actually find what exactly we want. Whoa! This guy has animals eleven. That okay? So it did turn out to be a new skill. All right. Whoa. I I really want this guy, but he can't cook, he can't do construction, grow, mine, or craft. He can't do skilled labor or hauling. So you know what? And you're 71. Screw this guy. We're gonna go through and randomize a bit until we find what we want, and then I'll be back with you guys. Uh, I think this is this is pretty good. We can have ourselves an animal handler, someone who's also good with medicine, and an amazing shooter. This is gonna be our first guy, and I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna have some revivals of some some people, so I'm gonna I'm gonna name this guy Butte because Butte's a nice guy. I bet he would love to be a, a doctor and and love to uh, be with the animals. I mean, last time he was a nudist. He's not a nudist this time. He's nervous, a psychopath apparently. He, Butte has no empathy, so that would make like a perfect doctor. Let's be honest here, that would make one. And neurotic. Uh, let's see. Butte likes to have things squared away. She will work harder than most attained state affairs, but it gets on her nerves the better for her. Um, that's that's all right. All right. Time to find the next person. All right. I'm pretty sure this is gonna end up being our researcher here. Uh, but they're a brawler. I really don't like brawlers at all. So we're gonna try and randomize her, or keep randomizing and find a better research. All right. All right. I think this is good. They're greedy. Which, that's that's fine. They can cook. They're a little melee and social, but they got really, really good research. I think almost maximum. I don't know what max is. Twenty? I have no idea. Or if it just keeps on going forever, which is, 
may be the possibility. They're greedy, they're psychically deaf, which means drones don't really affect them, and they just have a permanent mood bonus with Sanguine, which I really like. They could also be our cook, which is good. They already have really good cooking, which will interrupt researching, but, you know, cooking is very important. Um, this guy, yeah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna name this one Nagark. Um, Nagark is uh, another YouTuber that uh, I like to consider like a buddy of mine. And uh, he went to cooking school, so it kind of works out, you know, that he's a cooker. And uh, he's going to go research some stuff. He's also has got some social and melee skills, so maybe he can, like, punch someone in the face if he really wants to. But I doubt Nagark would do that. He's a nice guy. All right, all right. I think this will be our, our main constructor. I'm, I'm feeling he's, he's good with animals, which is fine. You don't really need anyone specifically good with animals. We're going to... I mean, I guess we could have Butte not do animals, and he could just do nothing but medicine and have this guy do it with animals, but he's got really good construction and really good growing and a decent mining and crafting, which seems to put him in the great spot for me, and I'm going to name this guy Ryan, also another friend of mine through YouTube's known as The Torch, um, and I think I think this is a good thing. We got, we got Butte the Herbalist, we got Nagark the Teacher, and uh, we got Ryan the Janitor. <laughs> Ryan the Janitor. Is he good at cleaning? Um, what 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 would cleaning be? Janitorial duties? I I don't even remember. <laughs> He's the janitor. I didn't even realize that he became the janitor. That's actually hilarious to me. Um, anyways, yeah. So it's unfortunate that we had to start over, but there's just so many new things in the game that. It needed to happen. Like, if it didn't happen, it, it wouldn't have been very good. Uh, you can tame specific animals in specific... Wait, you can train... You can assign a, a, a tame animal to a, to be trained in a specific skill on its training tab. Animals cannot be trained continuously. They need time between training sessions. sessions. Alright. That's perfectly fine. Alright, we got a lot of stuff we gotta do. Alright, first of all, we want to figure out where we're gonna live. I'm thinking over here, because there's already a geothermal generator right there. How many... Is there another... Ooh, ooh alpaca. There's the new one. We can try and tame him already. Mmm... He's only... He's eight? Yeah, I'm thinking that over here is probably the best. There's not a lot of geothermal generators. Ah, uh, there's a couple over here. I guess we're gonna be building into this mountain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's probably what's gonna be happening here. All right. Um, they also changed the UI for the, uh, for the game. As you can notice, everything's uh, is a bit different. We're gonna fractions and world history and architect. So they added quite a little, a bit to the game, make it a little bit easier. So I like that it's a lot easier to do this. So first of all, Butte's gonna be our doctor. Um. Everyone's gonna be a firefighter who can. Apparently, Butte doesn't like to fight fires. He's just afraid of them. Everyone needs to be a number one patient. So, you know, if they're hurt, they need to go get healed. Um, what is Flick? Flickers? I don't even care. Um, and who's gonna be our warden? Hmm, I guess, uh, Nagark's gonna be our warden. He's also gonna be our cook. And, oh, he's also our researcher. That's probably a little bit too much for him to do. So, I'm gonna make him not our warden. I'm gonna I'm gonna make Ryan the janitor our warden. Warden. He's our cook, handler. Um, that is gonna be Butte because he has you know really really good skills. Well, it could be Ryan too. It could be Ryan. Ryan's got a burning high passion for this as well. I don't know. Hmm. Who was gonna be our researcher? Oh, he was gonna be our doctor. That's right. He's our doctor, our handler. I think that kind of you know makes sense and works together. And Ryan's going to be like our constructor, our grower, our miner. He's going to be our everything. Uh, we should probably... Mm, now, let's all put these at one. They're all very important right now. Everything else, uh, hauling could be like two. Yeah, for everyone for now. And, well, Ryan should probably clean as well. Th these guys should be like their very last priority to be cleaning. Um, plant cutting? Uh, well, I mean, Ryan's our grower, right? He's gonna be growing our stuff, so he should probably should be... Oh, man, he's got too many priorities. Ryan's gonna be very busy. That is for sure. Um, he's gonna be having a hard time. We should probably make Nagarka Constructor as well for now, just to help out, because it's gonna require a lot of time to get everything together. And I think that's about it. All right, we don't need to worry about that. What is restrictions? Whoa, we can actually set people when they go to sleep, when they should work, and when they can have joy. That's actually pretty cool. 
I'm gonna set Joy for, let's see, like right after they eat, we'll give them like two hours of a Joy activity. I'm feeling like a real um, prison architect vibe right now from this stuff. And uh, what well, they get, how many hours of sleep? A pretty good amount of hours of sleep. And they should definitely be working before this. How about, well, I mean, they can do anything, whatever. We don't need to set up Pacific work hours. What's this? Outfits. Um, they don't need to really worry about that. We Do we have one? Wait, do we already have an animal with us? Where is this? Where is, where is this unrestricted home? Hmm. Did one come down with us? It, did, it doesn't show that one did. Anyways, let's probably get get our freaking stockpiles ready to go. Anyways, alright, zone and produc productions. Uh, dumping stockpiles. Make that right here. Let's make it like an 8x8. Eight and then uh, the bigger stockpile zone, let's make it like a 10 by 10. And we will allow everything into both of these. And then we will, I guess, transform this into a, a, a room for now. Because it's, you know, very easy to just, you know, convert this into a room and, you know, use it to our advantage. So let's do that and let's add a little wooden door right here. And then throw in some beds. I, I mean, I guess we're going to have to throw down some sleeping spots first. Because I don't really think that's going to work out too well. So we'll do that and then we'll do some orders and chop some wood. Yeah? That'll probably be fine. There we go. Alright, let's start the day. We're going to need them to haul everything. So we got to go around clicking everything. Um, getting all of the important stuff. All of this steel, everything. What is this? Silver as well? Yes, that's the currency in the game. Give me all of that. And I believe there's some some stuff up here, some more steel. Yeah, look at Ryan go chopping that down. Yes, we need to build. Oh, we should probably equip them with weapons. I didn't think about that. Um, the hunter, which I don't know who's the hunter. Let's see, who's got our best our best skills in shooting? Um, is there an easy way to look at that? Fraction world. Not really. Statistics menu? No, we'd have to individually click on each person. So how are you looking in shooting, Nagark? Not very good. Ryan, you're a little bit better at shooting. And uh, Butte, you're the best at shooting, so I'm going to have you come and equip that sniper rifle right there. And let's grab all of this wood as well. A lot of wood, a lot of silver, um, a lot of bullshit that we don't need as well. And Nagark, I'm going to have you pick up this pistol. And Ryan, you're going to pick up this plasteel knife in the meantime. Just fortunate, you know, not the greatest stuff. Let's bump this up to three speed now, though. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Let's, let's go around and see if we see any little red X's that we can pick up or fix. Yeah, that's going to be a nice thing that we get set up. Yeah, look at this. We already got ourselves a little room. Look at that. Look at that. It's really dark in there. Oh, look, there's our dog. A patriot. Oh, so cute. So oh, cute. All right. We should probably train him to be... Oh, he can't be a hauler? I guess he's too small, yeah. Oh, uh, I guess obedience then. All right. Obedience? I mean, that doesn't need to be top priority or anything, right? Uh, work? No one's going to be like, hey, he needs to be healed immediately or done. Do that right now. There's no priorities for this? For, like, animal taming? I thought there would be. I guess not. I guess it's just one of those things. Alright, we're getting to work. It's, you know, it's, it's been a good day. We, we learned, we learned it a lot. We're already seeing a lot. Let's look around. What the hell is this? Boom rat. Alright. Don't ever shoot these things when you're next to them, is what I learned. Don't ever attack them with melee, either. That'd be a horrible idea. And, oh, here's the boomaloops, the ones that explode. Interesting. We want to stay away from those as well. We don't want to hunt those. Ooh. Some more packaged survival meals down here. That's good. I'm glad we went and searched around the map, but we wouldn't have seen those. Ooh, some more. Why is there just all over the place, man? Can't you keep our packaged meals in the same spot? Yeah, this is a huge freaking mountain, though. Like, gigantic. Jeez. It's going to require a lot of mining to uh, build the uh, majority of our areas. All right, let's begin the day. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get some animal trainings. I feel like I'm going to become like an animal bro. And uh, I'm going to have all the power in the world and just 
It's gonna it's gonna come unto me, and I'm gonna be like the animal master, the hunter of the uh, the Rim World Society, and it's gonna be all kinds of fun. Ah, oh, little little tor little corgi. I just call him a torkey. <laughs> little Yorkshire. I don't even know. Is to me this is a corgi, but I guess you know. No, this would be a terrier. It would be some type of terrier, wouldn't it? Yeah, Yorkshire Terrier. I don't know my dogs very well, so, you know, excuse that. Oh, look at all these little animals sleeping. Like the new mechanics of animals sleeping. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, also, I think I forgot to mention. Animals can also give uh, birth, and they can also age and get old as well. Um, so animals do not live forever. They'll get old, they'll get cataracts, and then they'll eventually uh, die off. So that's something that is also new to the game. There's a lot of like little grass around the area. I feel like we're gonna need to expand our home zone for sure. Zones and areas, expand home zone. This is all of our home zone. All of this. There we go. So whenever the janitor wants to come around and get this grass the fuck out of here, that'd be nice. What's this? Oh, look at that. It's not grown all the way though. We're still hauling a lot of stuff. We got most of the stuff over here, which is good. Now I think they're going over and grabbing the packaged meals and all of that stuff. Um, one of the things that we definitely need to get up is the structure? No, uh, what is it called? I never remember where it is. Maybe it's the production area? Yes, the the research bench. We need to get this up a, as soon as possible. Uh, I said wood, right? Yeah. Why can't I put it here? Is it because there's something in the way? I'm going to put it right here then. Have them researching all of their stuff because we need to get that operational. They're going to sleep again because they're lazy mofos. We also need to get a growing zone up. That is very important. A growing zone. Uh, where are we going to put this? We want a pretty big one. Uh, maybe like 12 by 12 right there. Yeah. We want to get that operational as soon as possible. And we should probably haul all of this stuff out of it as well because it's going to be blocking everything off. And we don't want any of that. All right, I wanted to look at stuff that's like bedrooms. How do you, what are the new rooms and stuff? How do you zone that? Is that, is that something that just happens to come across like when you have like a bed in a certain area or barracks? Let's look around and see if we can figure steel uh, rack equipment. Items stored in this will not deteriorate even outside. That's pretty cool. I think we already had that before. Here, ah, we should probably make an animal sleeping spot. That's pretty important, you know. Gotta have a place for a Yorkshire. Man, he's so he's outside sleeping out there, and that's yeah, it's not very nice. A Labrador Labrador fur armchair. That is horrible, game. I would never end my Labrador's life and turn him into an armchair. That'd be horrible. Why would you why would you even suggest such a thing? Oh god. Oh, someone died out here. Someone was in a big fight. Cause I see blood on the floor. There's a little room over there. We're gonna have to start mining pretty soon too to get uh, some operational stuff going on. We need to uh, definitely do what would be the most important. I want to go straight to geothermal power. I just think geothermal power is so incredibly important to the game. We creations, fractions, world history, statistics, research, menu. See, we need to figure out. I thought what was gonna happen was in orders or zones and areas. There was going to be like more stuff where you mark this as a as a home area and you you mark this as a or not a home area like a bedroom and you mark something as a prison. Um, so it doesn't really have that. So I'm a little confused about how that stuff is going to be working. Um, oh, we get to name this Leo Panto. Definitely not. All right. This is going to be called. Hmm. Mountains, that's not mountain, uh, mountain bait, nah, that's, that's very, mountain something. Alright, we're gonna have, we're gonna put mountain here. Mountain, rescue, mountain, uh, mountain, 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 I can't think of a name, I, I really can't. Mountains retreat, there we go, yeah. Ooh, there we go. Mountains retreat. I like that. That's gonna. That's what it's gonna be. All right. We're putting. We're putting our grow in. Our our potatoes. Yeah, we're making some potatoes over here. Why is? What is Nagark doing? Why are you sleeping so much, Nagark? Wake up and start researching that over there. Need a meat meal source, huh? You have no way of preparing proper meals with raw food. I'm aware of that. All right. 
Now don't worry, I'm working on that. I'm thinking... Let's get our orders out right now. That we are going to start already working on a new area. Um, let's, let's... I don't know, where do, where do we want to start building our base? This, there's so much room for activity back there, right? Let's let you know. I'm thinking... Let's get that out of the way. We're gonna we're gonna bust in. Oh my god, my phone! All right, so we're gonna want to uh, go in here a little bit, make like kind of a pathway, and then I think we're gonna have this be our uh, our dining room slash possibly something else. I want to make it a little bit bigger than this. Actually, that seems like a little too narrow and for my uh, for my taste. Because we're going to have a lot of stuff in here. We're going to have, like, dining rooms. We're going to have the nutrient paste going in there. And then probably we're going to have the cooker and uh, butcher in there. Uh, well, we might, like, branch it off a little bit and have, like, the cooker and the nutrient paste and stuff all in here. Now, I don't know if this is enough room, but I guess we'll figure that out in the future. It's going to take a long time to mine all of that out. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on me. That's the important part. Need defenses. Yes, we do. That's that's why I'm researching, if you're not aware. Why why is Nagark Why is why is he not going and doing the research only, huh? Um We're gonna put that on two. And there we go. Alright. Go back to researching. You need to have priority number one for that researching Nagark. We need power, we need food, it needs to get operational, alright? You're, you're the main person in, you know, our survival right now. Anyways, I think this will be a great time to end this episode of RimWorld Alpha 12. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.